Mom, I'm a YouTuber now. I'm a YouTuber now. It's not a phase. What's a Mom. YouTuber? <laughs> What's the YouTube? Good morning, guys. Welcome back. We are back at the Cider Barn today. It's going to be an interesting one. Corey is back with us. He just couldn't get away. We're going to show you what today is all about. It's a beautiful project and we're going to have a little catch up with Corey and see how he's getting on in his new life. All that coming up on today's episode, so make sure you like and subscribe and let's get into it. <laughs> Good, yeah. Welcome back to the... He's come all the way from Norway via Giants Causeway with a little stop off in Stevenage along the way to top up on Pringles and pop culture. And he just couldn't resist to work back for uh, us again, could you? I had to pop in. So we're here today because we're gonna be doing the second fix on this place. If you wanna see the whole series that Corey, Luke and Ruben did here, then head to the links in the description and you can watch the various stages of this project. I'm gonna do the fun and easy part and just stick a few lights and sockets up on the wall and I'll leave all the complicated this stuff. This was summer, summer before last, wasn't it? Where Luke was up in the loft With getting the chased by wasps. It's probably almost a year ago to the day because wasp season is upon us again. Yeah, it is. So yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so let's weird. Cut to the clip where um, Luke was screaming in the loft with the wasps. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start getting some lights and sockets and stuff on. You were right to tackle all the complicated all switches the and bits. things and just figure out how you left things off. And yeah, no um, we'll get cracking. It's great now that you've gone, Corey. If anything's ever missing or anything Corey. goes wrong, I can blame you. But I do have some tools to give back to you as well that have been. Yeah, my heat gun. Yeah. Well, it's not a heat gun, is it? Let's just let's let's just clear this up right now. It's a hair dryer. It's a heat gun. It's, it's I might use dryer. it for my hair. Look how dead it is. I'm having to wear a hat at the minute. It's completely got no volume. I've got these wall lights to fix up, although they're slightly shonky looking wall lights they come with these little wires that sort of poked out of the back plate but what I'm going to do is just take the twin and earth cable right into it strip that back and then just connect that onto these with Avago connectors so what we have is we've got a light switch here. This is a fan isolator for the bathroom fan next door. This is the fan for fan one. This is the fan for fan two. So we're all good. Sorted it out, fortunately. I believe this one goes over to feed my little room. And then I believe these ones are spare. Because when, when they're spare, I just wave them all together. Just yeah. So if someone does try to switch it on, it just bangs out. This is the earth sleeving of Artisans, two mil earth sleeving. If you want to neaten up your boards and stuff, definitely go with two mil earth sleeving. It is the bomb. So Corey's experiencing the I life of a real really businessman now. I talked to him last night on about the phone dealing with tricky clients. And he said, basically, Welcome yeah. Welcome to reality, Corey. Me, my only trouble. I don't know. Um. Oh. Oh, what's that? I reckon that one could is be that, Is that actually yours or is it? Oh, you know, there's, oh, there's something else as well. There's a DeWalt thing. Yeah, that is mine. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. There is a DeWalt uh, thing as well in the back. That's yours, I believe. Because, you know, I wouldn't touch DeWalt with a, a barge pole. I have a feeling the bending springs might be, but and a couple of random drill bits, but I've, I've ended up replacing them now. Anyway. With the knowledge that you'll have put the cable in. Yeah, I'm trying to hammer quietly to not disturb Corey while he's on the phone with his clients, while I'm paying him. got a Michael Jackson audition later on tonight. That is a possibility. The other possibility is that this light fitting is supplied with a white glove to stop you from getting your 
dirty electrician fingerprints all over it. So I'm trying my best. They only give you one glove. Well, it could have been good with two, really. It's all connected and ready to go, but what I'm le doing is leaving it hanging just so that we can do the testing. We'll just do a quick R1 and R2 test on it before we finally bob it on the wall. It's so weird being back with uh, Jordan. It feels like yesterday, but also a lifetime ago. So it's been, what, two and a half, three months? And they've been a very busy few months. Here's the old girl. Oh, is that my labeling? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the wrong one. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, Jonathan, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so what I decided to do, rather than put things in the loft, because I thought it was gonna be so hard to get to, I've put it all here in that box. Uh, okay, yeah. So I've got that box, quinetic receivers for the LED tape in the barn and the spotlights in the barn. Yeah. So what he's doing is this switch here, he wants to move into that side of the door. Right. Much easier said than done. So The feeds come from below and yeah. above. So I said to him, can we put a blanking plate on there and just extend a cable over to there? So we'll just extend both of those cables over to there, a three core and a 2.5 and a one mil. Okay. Why don't we, before we go for lunch, drill that hole out just to make sure because if not then we might have to look at the quinetic thing yeah and wow. i'll s shimmy slide along with Stu yeah. and see if i can uh, find any wasp nests oh, no this side of the loft is actually really nice it's not bad it's just that side that's pretty mean yeah cool does your mum still think you're crazy for doing jacking it in with artisan and going no but she doesn't understand that videos are work she's like when are you going to start doing some work <laughs> you haven't started yet. And I'm like, this is work. It is actually hard. Like, Mum, I'm a YouTuber now. I'm a YouTuber now. It's not a phase, Mum. What's the Mom? YouTube? <laughs> What's the YouTube? Okay, you popped that in the wrong way. Oh, Corey. Popped one I just one thought way. you wouldn't be an amateur anymore after Mate, setting up your own Mate, I would get that so. out in two minutes. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I need a flathead as well. You pop it the wrong way, you hook it. Because what are you going to do? You're going to mangle up that box. Yeah. Oh, that's not a very tight box though, is it? Everything's a hammer, lesson one, being an electrician. Sorry, you were saying something? Sorry. One smooth motion, no damage to the box. Well Keep done. Keep that as a souvenir. Thank you. You can have that back, that's mm. your wages for today. <laughs> have some tasty words you're eating. <laughs> oh, it's solid wood there as well. Why is everything wood? Ah, oh, look, there's wood on top, wood behind. I reckon, though, that would just be... A little bit there. I'm hoping mm. they could I have packed it out. I think we should ask Jonathan. I had a little organiser of my van. If you've seen the video where I did my van, I had all the drawers on that wall there, and it was so annoying, because as soon as you put stuff in the middle, do you remember how it was in the transit? If you have drawers in yeah. the middle of a van, you try to open them, you have to move everything out the way. So instead, I've done it by the door for anything that I think needs to be by the door so I can just grab things out. Then I can put my table here up against the perfo panel, I've kind of got everything accessible then and then my junk drawer. But what I need to think about as well is I've got no place for storing materials. I do like those little giant ladders. I, a customer had the set the other day They're and I fantastic. got to try them and I was like, they are genius. The fact that they can extend out to a full length ladder as well. Yeah. I didn't realise, I thought they were just steps, but they're actually a ladder as well, aren't they? Yeah. And you've got that corner thing so you can even put it on the corner. There's another corner thing here. Yeah, I mean, it's... They're it really good. Genius. It's so bad wearing... PPE, just always forget, and it's like, it's, at least when I was kind of training, it just wasn't really drummed into you, but it's really important. You might feel lame getting your big ear defenders out, but you know what's even more lame, sitting there ringing ears all night, so there's a lesson. I've also done a bit more security since I put in, and I've put in these pads, put in a bulkhead, and put in some little hidden security features as well, so if a thief does break in, it'll make quite a funny video. That's the thing, it's, it's probably just a saw pipe. Why don't I go up there and shout down if it's safe to drill? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and drill that steep as an angle as possible to get into there, but that's the best angle that we can do, really, and I think that might end up going just into the saw stack. It looks a bit like Star Wars Episode Two, huh. and you know where they have the, the pontoon out and then there's like the drop? Oh, uh, yeah. That's a very niche reference, but I know what I mean. And it feels like that for some reason, because it's like a little walk board out with a drop on either side. Okay. Viewers will get what I'm talking about. Ooh. 
there's the soil pipe that's going down. This is my Star Wars Episode 2 moment. Yeah, try! Don't sound very confident. I'll go down. I reckon you'll be alright. Yeah? Yeah, go for it. That should be through now, I think. I still don't see it, but... No, but I'll just poke the rod through now and you should see the light, hopefully. If you chuck the drill up here, I can drill the other side now and make it easier. Yeah? So I can see that he's literally, see where my shadow is? I think he's about there. Because I can see that vibrating. So I'm going to try and drill from this side and see if that makes it any easier. All right, Jordan. Yeah? One minute, I'll turn my torch off. Shine that rod. It's in. Yeah, I can see you. I think we need the ball and chain magnet. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got ya. Fantastic, yeah. Woohoo! Well done. Yeah, Super Rod saves the day once again. There we go, got ya. Fantastic. Oh, this is like a playpen. Literally, <laughs> from 1917. If you fall out the back of that loft, I feel so bad for you, but I will laugh. So that is a result. We managed to fish those cables in. Not always as simple as it looks, just moving a switch from one side of the door to the other, but we've done it. But it was kind of a three-man job, you know? Cameraman was scrabbling around in the loft, running back and forth, getting tools and stuff. Um, but we've done it, and time for a well-deserved lunch now. So lunch is on its way, and I did say I'd explain why Corey's back. So here's the truth. He's been on his own for about a month now, and I got a phone call last week, and he was like, Jordan, I'm really struggling, mate. I just can't handle it. And it's like, it's far too stressful, and I'm just, the work isn't coming in like I expected it to. Have you got a day or two you could give me of work, please? And I said, Corey, no problem. Happy to help. You and me, we go back a long way. I've got this job, you know, you might remember it, the cider barn. I'm sure the customer won't mind if you do it instead of me. And then um, here we go, you know, that's why he's here today. So um, good to have you back, Corey. I remember it exactly like that as well. <laughs> in fact, to help me in my financial poverty, you know, if you want to click all of my links below, <laughs> I'm going to leave in the comment section. And if you want to go subscribe and just help a poor, starting out electrician and stop using the conglomerates you know all his money goes straight to coca-cola warren buffett's in his back pocket i'm not about that my money goes to vegan charities trying to make vegan cat food it's going to be a thing it's going to be massive you just wait thanks for answering my call for help though. i appreciate it well you're welcome you know if you ever need a helping hand going to speak to nick bundy okay <laughs> No, but seriously, how's it going? Mate, it's been great, thank you. Been extraordinarily busy. And it's like trying to find the balance between I was planning on starting a business and having a YouTube channel to document that, but somehow the YouTube has kind of become my business. Just because I realized I love making videos. Having the creative freedom to kind of try and make something a bit wacky or whatever and finding my audience of weirdos that actually like that kind of stuff and like the green screen and like all the kooky things that I've kind of been playing around with. So I've, I, I've been experimenting with potentially making that my business, but also I still love electrical work. So I'm still offering it. I'm still doing the work, but yeah, it's been super busy and a lot of very steep learning curves. I remember hearing a joke and I was like, oh man, it's so true, is I got so sick of working my nine to five, so I've gone self-employed, so I work all the time. <laughs> and it is literally like that. I'm very grateful for the time. Sounds like an ex-girlfriend, geez. Very grateful for the time that we spent together, but I think it was for the best that we went our separate ways. <laughs> I've created a monster. That's what I think. You're, you've gone beast mode on YouTube already. It's insane uh, how, how quickly your channel's growing. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. No, to see. but I, I think I credit that a lot to, you know, being able to come over from another channel, obviously. I've not, I've not started from scratch, so... Um, oh, our food's coming. Ooh. This is the best. Every time we're together, we just eat good food. I love it. Well, you know.
Right, we've finished lunch and I thought I'd just give you another added little point. For all the years that I was here shouting out Tradeify and people probably calling me a sellout or whatever it is, do you know one of the first things I got when I went self-employed? Tradeify, genuinely. It links straight to zero. It does all of my books and everything for me, basically. Now I'm subcontracting for Jordan. He just set me up as a subcontractor and that just fired straight to, free to my phone. It's exactly the same on my calendar and everything as if I was an employee. So I think they've sponsored your video today. Thanks for Tradeify for sponsoring the video. Get 50% off using the link below. Corey's gone to get a second helping. He's still a pig. He just eats more fancy food than Pringles now. I'm going over to see Lee and Luke quickly on the job that they're on. Just, I've got to drop some bits off to them. Then I've got to go to the unit to pick up some Flexicon for this job. Corey's going to go to the wholesalers and grab the materials, and then we're going to head back and carry on. So we're traipsing across the countryside to find where Lee and Luke are. They're in this very um, random location in the middle of nowhere. And uh, they're doing an EV charger, but the job has turned out to be a bit of a nightmare and they needed a fuse box MCB that they didn't have on the van, but I had one, so just pop in to drop that off and then see how they're getting on. Right, I am completely lost. I think we just missed the turning, so. Ah, here we go, there we go. I see an artisan van. We made it in the end. Oh, there are CBOs. Oh, no, don't say I've not at I thought they were MCBs, but they're not, they're RCBOs. Oh, we might have MCBs in, in, the, in the other side. Yes, we have MCB, perfect. Thank goodness for that. So, this is what you need. Cheers. We got her in the end. Now we've got to go to the unit and pick up some Flexicon, some I've steel Flexicon. Oh, have you've got normal, have you got 20 mil plastic? A little bit, yeah. Okay. We might be able to use that. So I got Lee's stuff given to him, checked out their job. They're doing a cracking job. It's not the easiest one, so hats off to them. Now we're going to the unit, which is in Cambridge, cent centre of Cambridge, to try and get some stainless steel flexible conduit. I'm hoping we've got some leftovers still there because we did have some and we stored them somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I'm hoping it's at the unit. Oh no, don't say I've not. Oh, oh no, don't say, don't say I've not got the key. I thought that was the key. Oh no, it's, that's the key. Thank goodness. We don't use this unit very often and to be honest, it's a waste of money. So we are giving it back next week. Oh, right, hopefully we didn't throw it away because I got John and Ruben to have a good old clear out here and they did a run to the scrapyard. You wouldn't have put it in the van. So this is the only Flexicon I can find, but this is really thick plastic, but it's not metal. And it's definitely metal that we originally specced on this job. Gonna have to hop over to CEF and see if they've got any. See if this works. Ah, look at that. Legend. When you come into a place like this, you inevitably look around and go, oh, oh, I think I might need one of those, or oh, I think I might need that, and you end up buying stuff that you just don't really need, but you just want. They present everything really nice, like all the tools and stuff, you know? Oh, I think I could probably do with one of those, you know? We're on the road again. Finally on our way back after that epic marathon of a journey to buy some Flexicon, we've done it. Now heading back, we've got about a 25 minute drive to the job quite nice really because I could just faff around and drive and stuff and leave Corey to do all the work and then I'll rock up and, and it'll be like finished and just slide a bit of Flexicon on and then I'll take all the glory for doing the job. Uh, right, let's check this uh, socket out in the barn. Lovely, so we have got a neutral there. Beautiful. So I'm just trying to work out what cable goes where. Just got back from getting all the materials. Just quickly second fixed all of that while uh, Jordan was finding the Copex. 
that's ready to second fix now. This, I just needed some blue sleeving and some brown sleeving, and then that's ready to second fix. I've popped three amp fuses in both of these fuse spurs. This does the light just above me. This just wants to tidy up. It's all wired up correctly now. It just wants a big old tidy up. Should we just empty these Wagos into my van? Wagos are getting expensive now, man. That sounds like a good idea. But unfortunately, I'm not a horrible person. I want to see these lights come on, hopefully. Yeah. That's the lights there coming on. Lovely stuff. Lovely. That was easy. I was worried it was going to be a bit trickier than that, but it's very easy. Do you know what else is easy, Stu? What's that? Subscribe into Oi Electrical. Go check it out. Okay, so to show you what's going on in here, we've got a ton of cables, but it's actually really simple. You've got to be careful in situations like this not to go what I call going cable blind, where you see too many cables and you panic. But this here is the old two-way to the stairs. So I'm gonna wager that all together because what you don't want is someone getting confused trying to connect up that cable on the other side and it banging out over here. I'd rather it go bang straight away and then them have to investigate further. So I'll label both sides spare spare three-way. Um, this one here is, I believe, another spare three-way which has been temporarily taped up. So we'll do the same thing. We'll label this one up as well as spare, spare two-way switch. And then the rest will neatly way go into the back and all of these switches here are actually wireless quinetic ones. So super easy. And if you see, bearing in mind, I didn't know that my old boss was coming back to film this job and I didn't know that it was gonna be filmed. Quite happy that I did go to the level that I did. <laughs> so all of these are labeled up. So that just makes it a little bit, a little bit easier for future sparks that might be working here. So. Switch is all second fixed. Probably gonna just give it a try before I screw it back, just to make sure that the uh, screw <laughs> switch is not upside down and also that the order is correct. But that should be the outside light, that should be the spotlights in the ceiling, and that should be the wall lights. And I do have to do an R1 and R2 test on the wall lights before I liven it up, so I'll do that now. So I'm finished with these now. These are all on and ready. I've got the fan isolated for next door. This switch here was so tight. A bit dumb of me, really. I should have scooched all over that way, but the trouble is you never know how thick plaster is are gonna lay it on. Um, and this wall wasn't here before, but I've just actually got out some sandpaper and sanded back that wall just enough that I can get that switch on. What I like to do is just bend it around my finger, bend it around my finger, and then pop it back in. So I've still got loads of slack in there but it's just a nice neat finish when you can just push it in. It's always a nice surprise when you pop it out and you just have all your cables nicely presented to you. So we'll get that put away. Cameraman's munching a cookie behind you. <laughs> can you tell Corey's back, the snacks? The snacks are the clue. So I've done R1 and R2 test on all these wall lights. We've got good readings, about 0.5 on each point. So I'm gonna just put those on now and then we can liven her up. Actually, do you know what? We'll sack off a Wago box. We'll just wire that in direct. Saves a joint, doesn't it? Bob Marley would be proud, saving joints. So we've got this little sticky Wago thing, then we can put the connections in there. Just gives a little bit of an extra seal around the wires. I mean, the light is IP rated and is under a porch, but you know, belt and braces and second belt, you know, just in case, why not? So we're just about ready to power on. So I'm gonna flick the breaker on and we'll see if these lights come to life. Cover your ears. There we go. Outside light, spotlights, wall lights. Boom, oh, look, they're pretty nice, aren't they? They're really nice. I like that pattern. So we're just putting this box in now, we've just multi-tooled it out, got a plaster bo board box to go in there. Corey's gonna send me the cables that we've pulled through here, then we're gonna slide this copex over it all the way down as far as we can to the other end just so that it stops any rodents from chewing the cables. 
and then we're going to pop this plasterboard in, pop the switch on there, and then put a blank plate on there. Can you see the womble? The womble? The womble is the womble. The womble's of Wimbledon. I need the my womble. theme song. I can see, yeah, is, you're nearly there. Yep, yeah, through, nearly. Is a bit it. of a stretch, got to be honest. I've got you. Okay, so I keep have going. got you. Look at that. Keep going, keep going. Now, if you slide the copex up, I'll feed it up and round. Yep, yeah, perfect. It's nice when you have a willing victim who is happy to go in the loft. And uh, I don't care. And the right You're probably going to need a fish tape, aren't you? Yeah. Um, You'll need to cut it to length and then put a fish tape through it. Or a rod, or maybe just a rod even. Yeah, I've done that. I've put the rod in, but it's, yeah, you're right, it's going to... I need to cut it. So we're kind of doing a bit of lateral thinking here, trying to slide the cable into the copex. Can you grab that? Yeah. And then you're going to need to still keep sliding it on, if that makes sense. Yeah, the cables aren't really going through very easy. No, it will just... Have you got the rod on it? Yeah, I have on the end. So the rod should be out soon. Nearly there, Corey, like a couple more inches. Or I can reach it. I've got it, yeah. Got the rod. Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Yeah, we're good. Yeah? Yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah, okay, well done. Mission it's good there's no cable visible. Mission accomplished. Well done, I'll show you a picture. Yeah, well done. There you go, so it just pops into the wall there. There's no way any rats are getting their teeth in there. Show you a little hack. When you've got the cables coming from all angles, unless you chop it out, you're not allowed to push the box back. So, make yourself a little drawstring out of tape. It doesn't matter if the tape gets scuffed up, but you don't want to damage your cables. So, pop that in, push that up. So, we just have the tape visible. Pop that through, pop that through, push it all in. There we go. Got all the cables in there without any damage. Just a bit of a mission. I don't mind missions. Oh, no. Call me Tom Cruise. Booze Cruise, more like. Jurassic Park. You know that? Or are you too young, Corey? Jurassic Park, of course I've watched Jurassic Park. No, as in, do you know that line? Oh, no, I don't Jurassic know that. Jurassic Park. I don't know that line, no. Let me know in the comments, guys, if, you, if you have I know Corey says Stevenage is the centre of pop culture, but clearly not if he doesn't know that line. Uh, what's funny is I wasn't allowed to watch Jurassic Park when I was little, but I was allowed to read the books, and the books were even more terrifying than the, than the movie. Like, the Michael Crichton book was terrifying. I'd read it and go to sleep dreaming of dinosaurs at my window all night. Terrible. Velociraptor scratching the door. Oh, but... yeah. <laughs> Hello, girls. Was it like? I think that was a different movie. I don't think the dinosaurs talked in Jurassic Park, Jordan. Sorry. <laughs> Clever girl. Clever girl. That's it, isn't it? Clever girl. What's that off? From Jurassic Park, but it's from the original one, Corey. You might not know about the original. Oh yeah, Jurassic I Park. know the new ones. The bigger dinosaurs with it. Yeah. What was it? The land. Um, the land before the, time. Yeah, the land oh, before time. What a cartoon. Mm. And Treasure Island. Did you watch that? I Treasure Planet, that. sorry. No. Obviously Muppets Treasure Island, you've oh, seen yeah, that. Yeah, of course, that's yeah, classic. Good. Of course, Long John Silver. Sailing, sailing for adventure in the big blue wet thing. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that switch is crammed with a lot of wires to tell you how to extend two across here, reconfigure everything. It's two-way and intermediate down this corridor. It's like so many light switches. Anyway, it's done. It all works, so that's good. This is a kinetic one that we've paired up to do the spotlights out here. This is now the one that does the corridor, but we're just repairing some of the kinetic stuff just to make sure it's all working as per the client's requirements. Well, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Corey's remembered why he quit. Long days, late finishes. But it's been fun, right? Yeah, had fun. Nice to be back together. Maybe it'll happen again if I can find another nightmare job to bring Corey on. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's even a nightmare job, it's actually pretty beautiful. It is. It's just, it is. Uh, yeah, we've just squeezed a few bits in as well, isn't it? And we had to run to the wholesaler and... There's always stuff that you don't 
don't quite expect it to take as long as it does. So it is what it is, but it looks amazing. Nice to see everything lit up. So our dear viewers, thank you for watching once again. Make sure you like and subscribe if you don't already to our channel and Corey's channel. All the links will be in the description and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. I just thought Grace stood there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>